Welcome to the Trend, sponsored by Hint Water. I'm Rebecca Granite. She is a super talented singer and songwriter with over 1.5 billion views on YouTube. And her new song, The Way I Are, Dance with Somebody, featuring Lil Wayne, is out right now. Rexar's perk up. Here we go. BB Rexa is here. How Hi. are you, BB? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank, Thank you, you for, for the amazing intro. Oh my gosh, my pleasure. You gave us a lot to work with. <laughs> so this. This new song, it's so fun. Everybody's dancing to it, bumping to it, you know what I mean? Yeah. What was it like for you working with Lil Wayne and getting in there and sort of creating this new jam? Uh, it was, you know, it, well, the song is about loving yourself and finding somebody who just, uh, you know, accepts you for who you are, and I think that's like, really important. And um, it was actually, you know, it was fun. It's, it's called I Want to Dance with Somebody, you know, and I sent it to Wayne and he loved it and jumped on it and then we shot the video with Director X and it was just, it, it was a, an amazing experience and uh, I think it was cool to be able to work with Wayne, you know, growing up listening to him, it was just kind of like a dope experience and everything kind of just circled back. Right, it's like surreal. Yeah. A crazy experience. So your album, it's the first part is called yeah. All, Your All Your Fault Part Everybody One. Everybody says part. Everybody, everybody <laughs> says that. Says. I almost went there. Almost. <laughs> but I love it, though. I'm like, yeah. All Your Fault Part One. <laughs> no. Well, part two, it was supposed to come out. It's going to come out. When do you think it is going to uh, come out? There's going to be a pre-order uh, uh, this Friday. Oh, cool. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and then I'll release tracks as the summer goes by. Um, yeah, so there will be a pre-order this Friday. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty June exciting. 30. Yeah. So, part one, well, the title of the album itself, <laughs> you've mentioned that it's, been, it's about a breakup, yeah. but also about sort of what you've become from yeah. people you've met, its experiences, et cetera. Absolutely. Going to the breakup, though, for a second, I want to know, like, girl to girl, like, yeah. dating life-wise, mm -hmm. what is it going to take to get BB Rex off the market? Oh, a lot. <laughs> no, you know, I, I just, I, I don't, it's not that I have, you know, I just like, I don't know, I, I'm just like looking for somebody, I don't know, I, I just don't have, I don't waste my time. Like, I'm not the type of girl, I'm not like, just trying to have fun, I'm not just, like, I'm really like, that's how I live, I live my life really kind of like, purpose and um, and I don't want to waste time and uh, I think you know he has to be serious and have something going for himself and like be a really just be a nice person that I just get along with and has to make me laugh. Mm -hmm. I feel like now like looks like I mean looks are a great thing but it's not really like necessarily like the main thing I think it has to do within. Is he opening the car door for you? In this, in this uh, I'm, not, I'm not that I'm not I mean like that would be nice but like it doesn't have to be like all day I'm not that like annoying you know what I mean I'm not like you didn't open the car door for me. I'm just, I'm chill, you know? Yeah. Ooh, I almost fell. <laughs> no, Sorry. It's, it's cool. You got um, excited about the future. <laughs> no, I'm getting nervous about the future. Yeah. No, uh, you know, like, listen, like, I, I'm the type of girl that's like, let's go to the gas station and get scratch-offs and in some, uh, you know, a bag of chips and drive and listen to good music. That mm -hmm. makes me happy. I was going to say, is the deal breaker that he's music, like, that he's not musically inclined? Uh, that might be a, ni that might be a nice change of scenery. If I he's think. not, if he doesn't like no, music, if he does, I think I think yeah. If he doesn't like music, it'll be nice. If he doesn't like music, yeah. Oh, interesting. So you could teach him something. I mean, I don't know. I was on I was on a plane one time, and there was a guy sitting next to me. He was a doctor, mm -hmm. and um um and uh, he was like trying to make jokes, and it was kind of it was kind of cute. But then he was like, "Let me show you something humorous," and it was like a humorous bone. Like oh. the, there's a bone called the. Humor and I was like, oh, I was like that's not really funny. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I don't know, but. I don't know. I'm open to anything. I'm just, you know, not anything, but, you know, I keep my eyes open, but I'm not really looking. So it doesn't have to be somebody in the industry. Just I'm kind of just more focused on, like, music right now. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, course. you know, I think when the time's right, something will happen. I just don't... Let it come to you. Yeah, I don't waste my time on it. Yeah. So you, you've you talked a lot about... I mean, you've been in this industry for so long as a songwriter yeah. and obviously as a singer as well. When you look back on, on the experience of coming up in the industry... If there was somebody who you could turn around and say, ha, I made it. Like, you <gasps> doubted me, and here I am. Oh, there's so many of them. Who would that person be? Like, the number one. Um, I wouldn't name names, but I have somebody in, in my mind. And um, I, think, I, think more, I think more than anything, I think it's actually, my, like, not in, like, a negative way. It's myself, because you kind of doubt yourself sometimes. And, like, but you believe in yourself. So uh, sometimes I'm like, whoa, I can't believe I'm here right now. Like, look, like, I, like, I think... I know it's weird, but I think it's myself, and uh, is that weird to say? No, I mean, just sometimes, you know, you believe it, sometimes you doubt yourself, and I think it's not in a negative way where it's like, it's kind of like, 
look like I'm here like see like it's just like whoa yeah it was but was there anybody in the music industry like any record producer somebody like of that who course. said listen of course you know um, I've had people tell me like I've had people tell me to stop um, and, 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 and to not do anything, to not even try. Mm -hmm. um, and I was like, I had people tell me like, your fingers are too small to play piano, like why waste your time? You know, and I like, would like sit there and like, cause I, you know, like stretch my fingers. I like, you know, I would stretch my fingers trying to play like the, the chords and reach and that for the octaves. But you know, I, I, I just never listened to those people. I feel like, you know, sometimes it's like you think about it, but I, I never, li I never lived my life kind of trying to prove those people wrong. I just kind of like loved what I did and I was like, I'm going to just do what I want and not focus on you. Yeah, absolutely. And so for young girls who are looking up to you, so many do, as a role model, yeah. somebody who, who's giving them inspiration to have their self-esteem and, and to do them, basically, what would you say to them? Um, what would I say to them? Mm -hmm. um, I always tell everybody that like loving yourself is a, a daily battle. I don't think, you know, you love yourself more days than others. You wake up and you feel prettier some days, more days, you know, some days and some days you don't feel so pretty and I think that's completely normal and I think that, uh, you know, we, we give, we actually give this message of being like, you have to love yourself, you know, if you don't love yourself, how could you love anyone el anybody else? But uh, the truth is, um, I think you can love yourself to a certain extent, but you have to know that it's a battle. It's like, you can't wake up every day and be like, I love myself, like 100%. You're going to wake up one day and be like, I feel, you know, I ate a whole pie of you know, pizza last night, I feel terrible and I don't love myself right now or, um, and I think that's completely normal and I think that girls need to know that, that it's just a bad, you know, it's an everyday journey and, um, and I think that's just what life is in general. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. Uh, you have worked with some amazing people. Your collaborations are just off the charts, literally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I want, <laughs> you like that little, <laughs> um, it's cute. Two collaborations that are coming up. I know you can't tell us too much about it, but anything yeah. you can tell us about the vibe, Florida Georgia Line you're working yeah. with, the song called Meant to Be. Yeah. What what is the vibe of that? I mean, it's country or Um, it's it's so interesting because um my manager was like, I really want you to work with Florida Georgia Line. I think they're, you know, like I think it'd be cool for you to you know, kind of try out that country lane. I was like, you know what? I was like, okay, like, sure, like, I'm not really into country music, and then I go in the studio with them, and we write this song, and it's just so amazing, the way that it just happened, the way, it was just so, it was, like, the perfect collaborative effort, it was just, like, water, it was just fluid, and, and, you know, and we were talking about life, and relationships, and, 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 and how certain things, you know, you don't know what's meant to be in life. And sometimes you gotta just let it be and just see what happens. So we write this song, um, and it's, 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 it's interesting. It's like a, it's a pop crossover record. Um, it's obvious, it's country, their country. Um, but to me, it's kind of, it's interesting. It's like, if you had, uh, like a song like Stay, but like a country vibe to it, you know, it's, it's really cool. It's, uh, it's, I love it so much. It's probably one of my favorite records I've ever been a part of in really? my, in my whole career. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think it's, I think, I, I mean, I pray, but I, I think it's going to be a very, very big record. Mm -hmm. I think it's just, it's just so amazing. It just, yeah, I, I am so special. proud. I'm so proud of it. Like it's one of the, like my favorite records I've ever been a product, part of. When when are we gonna get to hear it? Is that in the summer or later um, it, on? It'll or? be on All Your Fault Part Two. All your fault. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so, so I'm excited about that. I mean, that sounds exciting. It's a new thing for you. Yeah. So it's like it's. It, I'm I think I think it's cool. I think you know I'm like uh, you know, you know it's like everybody you know you put an EP together or whatever a, a, a body of work and it's like every song have to, has to sound the same. It's like no, I have a song with Florida Georgia Line. And then I have a song with Two Chains and Gucci Mane, and and then I have my song with Lil Wayne, and then I have some songs that are by myself that are just some dance records. It's just like whatever I want, and I think that's like fun. I love that. Well, you yeah. have another one coming out. I saw Louis. This is from One Direction. Louis. He, Louis. If you say if Louis, you say, it's like yeah. Louis. 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 <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I don't know the. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, he tweeted something about the end of July, a song with you guys, yeah. Back to You. Yeah. Is that, what's the deal with that song? Um, yeah, so like he reached out to me and he had this song and uh, I listened to it and it was just so incredible. And, and uh, you know, working with him has been, like he's like the nicest person ever. Mm. I was kind of like worried because like, you know, it's like One Direction is a big deal and they have, you know, they're, they're massive. Uh, and I was like, oh my gosh, I hope he's nice, you know. Because sometimes you work with people and like, you know they're they're nice, but they're or they're not nice. He was like the sweetest person I've ever honestly ever met in the music business. Um, wow. Yeah, and uh, working with him is was, was so much fun, and 
and I can't wait for people to hear this record. I think it, it's it's really fresh uh, and it's it's really different, and um, I think people are going to be surprised. And he sounds so awesome on it, and I'm excited. And that's as much as I can say no, in a I political way it. without letting too much out. No, <laughs> Vivi, I appreciate it. I mean, I, it's, you're getting me excited for it. Yeah. So, and you gave me a little pronunciation guide, so I appreciate yeah. it. So. <laughs> All right, ten for ten challenge we do here. It's a rapid fire thing. You get ten questions. You have about ten seconds to answer each. Okay. They're all about you, so you can't get it wrong. Like it's just okay. it's, your, it's you stuff. So <laughs> you'll be good. All right, here we go for your first one. Are you ready? Yeah. Your favorite lyric in one of your songs. Oh, do I have to be? I have to answer this quick. Yeah, I mean, you can okay. think for a second. We won't. We won't go crazy. Um. Oh. Oops. Um. I got that. F um. I don't need anything to get me through the night except the beat that's in my heart. Yeah, it's keeping me alive. That's it. Love it. Love it. Why is that your favorite? Um, because uh, I think that song means a lot to me, and I wrote it about like in a time in my life where I was just in LA and I was really lonely, and I was uh, and, and I, I just felt like um, all the people that I was kind of looking to were kind of gone and, and kind of let me down. Um, and then I said to myself, like, I won't let myself down, so I'll always kind of just keep going and you know my heart will always keep beating and uh, I got myself and that's oh, all I need. I love that one. That's really good. Yeah. Who's your most fun collaboration? Um, fun collaboration. Um, I think you know Martin Garrix was fun because like every time I get to like go perform the song with him it's at like a festival and there's like people and partying and it's it's, it's always like Just a that blast. Club vibe. Yeah, yeah, like major club vibes. Only like club vibe with like 40,000 people because his, cr his crowds are like insane. Oh my God. What's your biggest disaster date? Disaster date that I've had? Mm -hmm. um, I think like I met someone and they took their shirt off in the middle of the restaurant. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> yeah, you don't stay on that date. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is not safe. How did that happen? Was there music on? Was he just like... No, he was just, I don't know what he was on. I was like, this is not okay. I was like, I'm out of here. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. You're... Deal breaker. <laughs> right, I was going to say, that's the deal breaker right there. You're, you're born in New York. Yeah. Your favorite thing about Brooklyn? Oh, uh, the food. LMBs. <laughs> LMBs, Pomonis. <laughs> Delish. Or um, Diker Park bagels. I get I get the sesame bagel with like um, maple turkey, Swiss cheese, lettuce, tomato, mayo, and the bag of chips on the side. Snapple. Oh. Ooh, you're making me hungry. Cut is in the it, middle. Is it lunchtime yet? It's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and they fill it with like that much turkey. Oh, it's everything. Oh, delicious. Yeah, the food in New York is just yeah, it's off the, of the charts. What's Without naming your songs, your favorite song right now that if we were in the car together, we'd be hearing you play? Um, I've been listening to like a lot of classical music right now. Um, but like popular music, I would say uh, I like Feels by Calvin Harris. I like mm -hmm. um, Slippery by Migos. <laughs> <laughs> like I like classical, but then I like Slippery by Migos. Yeah, no, that's great. You're, it's, you got a little bit of everything, right? Who is your celebrity crush? I don't have one. Not, no, no, no. I really crush. don't. I really don't have. I, when I was growing up, I used to think Orlando Bloom was the hottest thing mm -hmm. ever. I mean, it's so, my, I, mine was James Franco growing up. Oh yeah, yeah. I was, like, He's very excited you know, him. I like. Um, you know who I think is really hot? Um, when I watched a movie, I like fell in love with him. Uh, the guy from Suicide Squad. What's his name? Oh, the Joker. Um, I have a terrible memory. I'm sorry. We'll we'll get it. I does anybody know, know his name? name? Do you know, does anybody know the name of it? Yeah, J Jared Leto. Jared Leto. So hot. Yeah. But I want him to look like that. Like, I would date him if he looked like the Joker. Like, I want to date the Joker. So if you want to go out with Phoebe, you got to put the makeup on and you got to do the whole thing. <laughs> All right, what's your power outfit? The outfit you put on, you're like, mm, I got this. Um, I think just, like, a pair of jeans, a pair of nice um, stiletto, like, a pair of, like, you know, like, pumps, mm -hmm. and, like, just a tank top and a leather jacket. Like, I think that's, like, my go-to, like... Perfect, yeah. Yeah. Best fan interaction? Um, I think, uh, I don't know, there's so many. I think, you know, the, the most amazing ones are when, like, they, like, it feels, it's not just, like, them just trying to, like, get my attention, and it's, like, real. It's, like, them being, like, you saved my life, or, or it's something really personal, and, like, um, and I, and I feel, I don't know, sometimes, like, I was, okay, how about this one? I was in, uh, Belgium, I'm let me give an example. Sure. Um, and I was on stage, and, um, there's a little boy crying the whole time during the whole show, 
and he, I asked him how old he was, and he understood that. He was like, I'm 11. Um, and then I started talking to him more. I pulled him up on stage, and he's like, I don't speak English. I was like, okay. But he was crying the whole time, and he cried, and he hugged me, and he wouldn't let me go. And I was like, I have to finish the show, but I didn't know how to say it in French. And uh, he was just crying so much, and he was so touched that I just, I started crying on stage, which is like the worst thing you could do when you sing, and then with makeup. But that was like a really touching moment to me because I was like, wow, I'm in, I'm in Belgium. I've never been in Belgium. And here are a thousand kids who are, who I feel connected to my music and I don't even know how to speak French or, and, and here's this 11 year old boy who is like really touched and that touched me because I'm like, wow, that's so, that's such an incredible thing. And sometimes you forget and get caught up in your own world. Mm -hmm. um, and this world is so big that the fact that you could be, you know, that you could be something for them, you know, yeah, part of their that, day is amazing. That your music, your voice can yeah. can transcend oceans and really yeah. affect people. I think moments like that are really like it's it's really touching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, July Fourth is coming up. Yeah, what are your plans? Uh, I don't know. I think I I don't know. I'm not really sure. Fireworks? Do you normally watch fireworks? Um, I, I like fireworks, but I'm, like, lazy, so, like, I'll, like, just, like, look outside my window, and hopefully there's, like, something happening, I'm like, ooh, you know, um, but, you know, usually I'm on a plane, and I see fireworks from the plane, and it's actually the coolest thing ever. How it's cool is that? Have you, ever, have, you, I've, have you ever flown on 4th no, of July? No, It's the coolest thing ever. There's fireworks everywhere. It's so cool. Like, you'll just That's be so just, I remember one time I flew on 4th of July, and, and, uh, I was flying across the country, um, and it was literally just, like, fireworks, like, and it was the clearest plane ride it was at night and it was just like fireworks everywhere it was cool that's super cool very very cool that's a very special way to celebrate yeah You're on the plane by myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah alone but with, like, next to a stranger <laughs> next to the doctor <laughs> yeah you know no you know but like it's cool because like I ha every time I f every time I get on the plane I actually feel really like emotional because I'm like wow I'm like this is so cool because it's been such a long journey I'm like I'm uh, still on a plane like I hated flying at one point and I wouldn't get on the plane but I'm like here I am on the plane like on the plane, flying to go do something for you know for, in music, something that I love. So yeah. Yeah. No, that is, I mean it's great. Yeah. In honor of your single, this is your last one. The way I are dance with somebody. What is your go-to or favorite dance move? Uh, um. Well, I'm Albanian, so I just like to do. I always just do the arms or something like that. Like you know, just just like you know, Ooh. do this and you know. Hey. Am, hey. I, am I am I doing it terribly? Just like yeah, you know, you're doing good. Just like just make it like this, and just like shake. Hey, hey, hey. There dun, we go. Dun, 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 dun. Wanna dance with somebody. Mm. I just, this is my go-to move, because like, I'm just like, yeah. I was like transporting myself into the music video just now for yeah. a second, just secretly. I would do, but I can't <laughs> move my arms in this shirt. No, I love it, I love it. Vivi, you're so fun. Thank really you. Fun. Thank you so much Thank for you so being much. here and reminding everybody to go check out, obviously, you're listening to her song, Dance With Somebody, The Way I Are, Dance With Somebody. Vivi, thanks so much. Thank you so much.